Welcome to the third film in our Threshold series. In it, we examine the relationship between the base of a building and its thresholds. An opening in an exterior wall passes through the base of the wall. What does this mean for the threshold of the exterior door or the door step? You have heard on numerous occasions that the principal problem encountered at the base of a building is the potential buildup of rainwater. Such damp conditions can destroy both building materials and the buildings they form and must therefore be avoided. This problem becomes even more serious in the event of standing water on the land around a building. Heavy and persistent rain can result in local occurring standing water or flooding due to an increase in water level. The ingress of water into buildings can cause considerable damage as you can see here at the Schillergarten, a lovely restaurant located beneath Loschwitz Bridge in Dresden. As you already know from the previous film, the vertical damp proofing layer at the base of a building must continue 30 centimeters above ground level to protect the building from standing water and spray. But what happens if there is a door opening in the exterior wall? The time-honored solution is simply to raise the ground floor 30 centimeters or more above ground level. This is sufficient to hold back standing water except in case of historically high flooding levels. However, the modern requirement for barrier-free access without a raised threshold means that this is no longer an option. A person with reduced mobility would be unable to access such a building on an equal and independent basis. However, if the ground floor floor level inside a building is identical to the ground level outside it, any door opening will cause a break in the 30 cm high damp proofing layer. A wheelchair user will be able to access the building without difficulty, but so will the water. There is also a certain architectural relationship between the base of a building and the thresholds it contains. If the ground floor is raised up and exterior steps are required, they can be successfully integrated into the façade design, making them part of the base. In his famous Villa Rotonda near Vicenza in Italy, Andrea Palladio designed a load-bearing ground floor into which he integrated the steps leading up to the entrance. If the interior is level with the ground outside the building, making an opening for the exterior door in the base also causes a design problem. Here, you can see our extension to the old Nikolai Schuler school in Leipzig, where the problem is evident in both the old and new buildings. Summary There are certain structural and architectural relationships between the base of a building and its thresholds, which are further complicated by the need to construct accessible buildings. The time-honored solution is simply to raise the ground floor 30 centimeters or more above ground level and so hold back any water that may build up. However, this precludes the possibility of barrier-free access. If the ground floor floor level inside of a building is identical to the ground level outside of it, thereby making it accessible, the door opening will break through the 30 centimeter high damp proofing layer. A wheelchair user will be able to access the building without difficulty, but so will the water. Don't miss the fourth film in our Threshold series, in which we consider how to construct a building entrance with steps.